So, we decided to do something different. In light of the global pandemic, we here at Caribverse skipping some chapters to give you The Last American, chapters 121 to 131, Mesa. After ravaging through Asia, Europe, and North America, the deadly coronavirus has now reached the Caribbean. Maruga Trinidad, the last American and his friends put on protective gear before going on a journey up north. Are you guys ready to go now? The young lady known as Sukuna asked. I think so. It's hard leaving the safety of the seventh company to go out into the darkened world, said the American. The Uriah Butler Highway, Trinidad. The Jumbi Jeep heads in a northern direction. As they get more core, a computer technician says to his boss, I found them. They're heading up north on the highway. Good job, lal. I'll contact Mess to intercept them, replies the boss. Frizz here. Sorry for disrupting a regular schedule comic strip, but I have another Frizz lesson for you. Deep within the Earth's crust lies the land called Agatha, home of the technological advanced Agans, and the snake men called the Naga. Also, there's a lot of wild flora and fauna. All around the earth, there are different places where the up and inner world connect, and the Maruga Forest in Trinidad is such a place. Legend has it that during the colonial era, a band of runaway slaves accidentally entered the inner world, making it their new home away from slavery. These Maroons built a city for themselves, called Kanbole City. The Uriah Butler Highway, Trinidad. Something huge launches at the Jumbi Jeep. The beings smash the front end of the Jeep. Wow! We just had something big! said Junior Boa. Another Naga, sent by the Get More Corps, will prepare to face the warriors of Shangula, shouted the American with weapon in hand as the warriors stood along him. I'm no ordinary Naga. I am mess, said the Naga as the American attacked them. And I was sent to mess up you, American, said Mess, holding the American by his chest in mid-air. Pow! Oof! This Naga is tough, said the American, as he received a punch from Mess releasing his weapon. Sukunia flew in while Junior got his. Well, let's see if it can handle my sonic cannons, said Junior, aiming at Mess with his cannons. During the melee, a strange spider watched closely from a nearby tree branch. While the warriors of Shangula is busy fighting Mess the Naga, on a tree nearby, a black spider moves with purpose. The spider lands in a person's palm. Welcome back, Zaren. What news do you have for me today? asked the stranger. Come now, Zaren. The Laga is near said the stranger holding Zaren in his palm. After receiving news about the warrior's battle with the Naga called Mess, the mysterious man who talks to spiders and looks like a spider hybrid himself makes plans for the future. And Anansi must get the combatants ready, said Anansi, looking at the heroes of the region. I've got the Jumbi blade. Sukonyat, you can now do your thing, said the American, holding the blade. Sukonyat, then lit the blade with fire as the American held it. Ouch! That's hot, said Alan, holding the blade as it got hotter making the Jumbi blade red hot, so when Mess launches another attack. Alan swings the hot blade, cutting the Naga in half. After defeating Mess, Alan and his friends plan their next move. This is not over, American. The Naga will be victorious, said Mess, while on the ground after being cut in half. The American stood over Mess with his flaming ebony blade. Elsewhere at the Get More Core. Blast! Another one of my Nagas defeated by that American, shouted Big Lal in frustration. Hope I'm not disturbing you. Sarah Guns appeared on the scene. What are you doing here, Sarah Guns? Big Lal asked. To be continued. And that was the last American chapters 121 to 131. Mess up. Carib TV. Where we bring the stories to you. <laughs>